fuck ideologies. Just fuck it. Fuck religion. Fuck feminism. Fuck the men's rights movement. Fuck MGTOWs. Fuck them all. I don't care if it is an ideology, it isn't an ideology, I don't fucking care. I really, really don't care what academic feminism is. Since academic feminism isn't what is changing attitudes in society or what is changing laws, academic feminism doesn't mean shit compared to what is actually making a change in things. Doesn't mean shit. And I'm, I'm just, I don't fucking care. I don't care what the theories are, supposedly. I don't care what these philosophies are, supposedly. Any of these ideologies that are out there, people are using to replace religion. People are swarming away. That's not the right term. People are gravitating away from religion. Because they're used to having that sense of religion in their minds, they're going to just flock to replace it with something else. And they'll gravitate toward whatever ideology seems to feel good at the time, and then they don't even know what the fuck they're... they're the ideologies really mean or are supposed to mean or any of that. They'll just kind of gravitate towards it because it feels good and it seems like the right thing to do. Having no real idea how it really works. And then they'll pretend to be the spokespeople for those for those movements. You know, in feminism you got the, the Lacey Greens, the Anita Sarkeesians. You got the Rebecca Watsons. You got the Jenna McDermott's. And another big handful of people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Spreading bullshit, hatred, and things that just don't make any fucking sense. Spreading pseudo religious viewpoints and then claiming it's not religious viewpoints. You got MRAs doing the same shit. You got MGTOWs doing the same shit. And of course you got all the religious people pushing their trying to peddle their bullshit as well. Fuck all of them. Fuck it. It's not worth my time to research any more of it anymore. It's just not worth my goddamn time. It's not like I can't handle the negativity. Because I can. It's not like I was last year where for eight months I lived with uh, three meth addict um, con artists who still to this day haven't paid rent at that place and a person that owns the house who make, flips out over requests for, for basic things you're being completely unreasonable when I just want some really basic things and flips out <laughs> I was the only one paying rent but he flips out if I leave a couple crumbs of, of grated cheese on the counter, but the, the three con artists can trash the kitchen, leave it a pigsty, and he doesn't say anything. And one of them, who claims to be so intelligent, claims to have all these degrees, which I have come to find out he doesn't have any of those degrees. He just finds ways to con people into 
making them think he's just the most intelligent person out there. And the main thing he knows is how to manipulate people. And he knows how to make people feel worthless. And in his making people feel worthless, that's why the three con artists are even together at all, because he has the other two feeling like crap about themselves and feel like they need him in order to survive. But all three of them are con artists. They're all liars. Yeah, I'm not living there. I'm not living in that shithole. Doesn't matter how nice the house could look. When you're living with, 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 with three meth head con artists, yeah, it's a shithole. I lost two thirds of my stuff. Even my clothes. Shithole. That's what that was. Last year was shit. I don't regret going through what I went through because I learned a lot. But last year was shit. And last year I couldn't handle the negativity near the end. I just couldn't take it anymore. I was on edge all the time. And you know what? I'm really, really fucking happy, actually, that I punched Rob square in the face after the shit they pulled. Third time in a row making me lose... making me have to cancel my doctor's appointments because they had the vehicle and I wanted to know where they were. They wouldn't tell me, so when I pushed to, ha to, ha to have them tell me where they were, well, we're just getting on the free. Yeah, but where are you? How long is it going to take you to get there? We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll we'll get there. But where are you? Stop pushing. Stop being such an asshole. And where the fuck are you? And he and he starts saying, "What was what was the phrase?" Uh, Stop being such a pushy bitch or something like that. And I said, fuck you. This is in text, right? So they get home an hour later. Doctor's appointments, you know, definitely all canceled. Luckily, I was able to still keep that doctor because it was the third time in a row that I had to cancel it in the same day. And uh, Rob's there. I ask him, why couldn't you tell me where you were? And he says, because fuck you, punched him square in the fucking face. First time I've ever punched anyone. I was on edge there. That was some shitty living. And there little John is trying to claim that, uh, you know, I was tired of, of, of eating crap for food and having my EBT run out within just like, what, only lasting four or five days. And all the things that I would buy, they would be eating. Then all that's left is shit like cereal. And they buy shit tons of sugary, sugary kids cereal. I try to say, hey, this, this stuff doesn't have, this, this is shit for, for nutritional content. And little John gives me this speech on how uh, a full meal with a steak and, a, uh, and broccoli and uh, uh, potatoes has the same nutritional value as a bowl of children's cereal. And gives me a guilt trip about it for a goddamn hour. as they call me selfish, as they call me a crybaby because I wanted decent food. Well, they go out and do all these projects so they can buy their meth and never pay rent. 
Can you tell I'm a little bitter about it? Little John certainly had a way of making me feel like shit about myself. I still have not recovered from that situation there. But I can at least handle negativity now. I just so I just at this point I see no need to surround myself with that sort of thing with with ideologies that don't really add up by people who don't even understand their own goddamn ideologies. By people peddling their dogma onto people. Fuck it. I am who I am. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, well, you know, too bad. If you want to tell me I'm a piece of shit for being myself, you can go fuck yourself. Go shove it up for your ass. You don't have to live with me. You don't have to be around me. You can unsubscribe. You can choose not to watch my videos. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I'm done trying to find logic and reason within bullshit ideologies. And I really don't think there's going to be an ideology out there that's not going to be able, that's not going to become corrupt in some way. I bet even if there was a huge egalitarian movement, there'd be a bunch of fucking corruption in it. Somehow, some way, it's going to become corrupt. And the people that are corrupting it the most are going to be the ones at the front of that movement. They're going to be the face of that movement, whatever the fuck it is. So fuck it. Fuck all I external ideologies. I've got my own I personal ideologies. It's not based on anything in society. I've got my own personal dogma that I follow. It's not based on anything in society. And I'm not going to try to cram it down anyone's throats. I have my own rules I put on myself. I don't need any external rules from anyone else or any bullshit ideology. I don't need any of it. I don't want any of it. So take your feminism, your men's rights movement, your, your MGTOW shit, and your religion and stuff it up your ass. 